Hi everyone and welcome back to the Gamma Stalker mod. Please excuse the shooting in the background. Now today I wanted to talk about hideouts. This is something that was added after I last played the game and there isn't a lot of documentation or any information on it and there's nothing really in the game guide about it because usually I hit tab, I bring up the guide and I find something that says hideout but really it's only the crafting thing that is relevant to it I suppose so that's what we'll be focusing on. You can build a hideout anywhere, is the first thing to say. I'll bring these up as little text things on the screen. You can build a hideout anywhere. A hideout is just items that you place down which are persistent, nothing more. You aren't placing buildings down, you are just placing items down. You are placing down workbenches, stashes, lights, a radio and a piano slash keyboard if you are so inclined. But other than that... It's literally just not changing anything in the world. It does not stop stuff spawning. So if you build it in a hostile area, hostiles will still spawn. If you build it in a safe area, this is stalker. You are not 100% safe. There is every chance that a group of bandits will charge into a building during a size storm and still shoot you to bits. So, you know, it, it's all relevant that this is still stalker. So a hideout is not a perfectly safe space let's quickly backtrack for a moment because i realize that i haven't covered this and i know someone will ask inevitably regarding items to craft the workbench and other furniture items you will have to come across things like scrap metal or wood scraps the way to do this is to break down other items so here you have a military field shovel if you right click and click details you will see its components are two scrap and two wooden parts so two scrap metal two wooden parts if i then right click that and disassemble it you will see that i now have three metal scrap and two wooden parts the three metal scraps because i already had one in my inventory along with a hammer if I right click that and click disassemble, I get one more of each. And if you go to details, you will see that you get one metal and one wooden parts from that. This applies to any item with this little symbol on. It is used for crafting or indeed this item is also used for crafting. They can also be used in repair bonus situations. So when you're repairing items, they might provide an additional bonus. However, in general, any of these items can be broken down into crafting parts for various other items but just check in the details tab exactly what they are for the workbench you will need 12 scrap metal and 12 wooden parts but let's get back to making it now in terms of where you can build well it's pretty much anywhere as i understand it this obviously is a preset building in one of the camps in cordon there's a nice big space in here. There's no real access other than there. So I suppose if you were sat in here and the enemy did come in, at least you could shoot at them as they came down the corridor. So this is where I'm going to attempt to put something down. There's not a lot in here, to be honest. There's just lots of random boxes and things. So the first thing you're going to need to craft anything is the basic tools. If you right click and open workbench and you go across to the actual crafting section and then you click hideout furnitures, you can see what's available to you. So you can have a portable workshop. Then you have the option of a portable keyboard. You have various boxes for stashes. You can have a big metal box. You can have a gun case, an empty case void of any weaponry. It provides more space than conventional backpacks at the cost of weight. Obviously the idea being here that you're putting it down rather than keeping it permanently on you. All these things are heavy. The intention being that you are placing them in one location and leaving them there, but they will hold more than standard stashes if you haven't enabled unlimited stashes. Please note some people have reported issues enabling unlimited stashes mid playthrough, such as things disappearing. You do this at your own risk. Same here, empty exoskeleton repair kit is just an empty box. This is a small backpack, pretty much the most basic backpack you can get, but it is used for putting down small stashes around the place if you so choose. And then you have your two lamps, you have a gas lamp and you have a metal torch which needs fuel obviously as far as i know this is all that is available i don't think there are any other items you can build or unlock 
please correct me if I am wrong in the comments, but there is so little information on this hideout stuff, I'm literally learning as I go as well. Right, I have enough resources in my inventory to build the portable workshop. I figured that was a good place to start and have a little look at it. Now, it says portable workshop. Please bear in mind that portable is not really portable. What they mean is you can just build it anywhere you want. Note that if you look at the description, a combination of a deployable table, workshop tools, and an integrated stash. This allows stalkers to be more self-sufficient in less than friendly areas, though its weight is a deterrent against crafting on the road. The intention obviously being that you cannot carry it around with you because it weighs 10 kilograms. Obviously, that's perfectly carryable. You can carry 10 kilograms. It would be silly to say otherwise, but it's just to discourage you. But let's build it and see. I've never built one, so this is new for me as well. There we go. I now have crafted that item. If I go back to my inventory, we can see there it is there. And if I right click, I can click place item. And here we go. We get a funny little outline. A really funny little outline, isn't it? It's like little dots. This looks like little LEDs or something. I can move around with it. I can send it all the way up there quite far away. I can bring it all the way back. I suspect we will place it over here against this wall just so it's easy to access. I assume that the front of it will be facing me, but we will soon find out. Hit F. Hit F. F drops it. So there you go. That is the portable workbench. Now if I click F on it and we can have a look at it directly. You can access the stash, you can pick it up, and you can use the workshop. But let's see if we can place it outside. So after placing that one inside, I decided to come outside just out of curiosity. You can indeed place these outside as well. It is not just in buildings. So you can literally place these hideout items anywhere you want. Obviously, placing them inside a little base like this is certainly more secure perhaps than placing them out in the wilderness. But the reality is that these are persistent items that only you can interact with however obviously if you place them out in the middle of nowhere then stuff can spawn there is no protection from these bases or hideouts from things spawning it doesn't have any effect on the world other than it is an entity that you can interact with you can put them in the buildings you can put them outside but it has no bearing on anyone else in the game any of the npcs they will completely ignore them. Let's go through a quick list of things that probably are worth knowing. So the first thing is you can build a hideout anywhere and you can build as many as you want. They are persistent and only relate to you. Nothing else will interact with them. They do not act as a hideout that stops enemies spawning. They are literally just a convenience thing. When you utilize this workbench, you still have to have all of the necessary toolkits. This is a convenience item only. The stash, which is with it, means you can put all of your crafting materials in there. And then when you open the workshop, you will have all of those to use. But you will notice here that basic tools and advanced tools are included. They are only included because they are in my inventory or if you do not have them on your person, then they will simply come up as the others do as not available, making this workbench useless. You have to have the tools anyway. The only advantage to this portable workbench is the fact that you can have the crafting materials stored in its stash rather than have to faff around having them in your inventory. This is a convenience item, nothing more. It does nothing special for you. Of the other items available for the hideout as we've gone through, several of them are simply cosmetic more than anything else. The lamps, etc. I suppose have a slight function and the remaining few items are purely for storage. If you're looking for storage, obviously, and are sticking with the default setup of mods, then it's fine. You will need them if you're like me and you have enabled the unlimited storage mod, then, you know, you probably don't need any of this. The only real advantage perhaps is indeed the workbench could still be of benefit. Please note though I have seen reports on the official discord that 
having a stash built into a workbench like this and then enabling the unlimited weight stash mod has emptied the stash of some people just bear that in mind so if you're going to enable unlimited stashes do it before you start messing about with the hideout stuff because if you do it afterwards you might lose all your gear just keep that in mind so all in all i think the hideout stuff is you know some cosmetic stuff um it's beneficial if you don't have unlimited stashes and for convenience the workbench is potentially handy but you still need all the toolkits you had anyway so it doesn't really offer any major advantages over just doing it in your inventory other than the convenience of having a stash with all of your repair parts or manufacturing parts in so this actually turned into quite a short video after what i expected was going to be quite a long one to be honest but i hope this was helpful i hope this has explained what hideouts actually are to you guys they're a little bit less than i expected to be honest but i hope this was helpful thanks again for watching please do like share and subscribe stay tuned to the channel there will of course be more gamma as well as other games as well thanks again for watching <laughs>